In the timber-rich Palouse region of North Idaho and eastern Washington, there is over 2 million tons of waste biomass accumulated by lumber mills annually. This waste is nearly valueless, either sold at about $20 a ton or the lumber mills paid to have it shipped away. At the same time, the farming industry of this region is struggling with topsoil degradation. Our topsoil is becoming nutrient deficient and less productive, thus impacting farmers' ability to feed a growing population. Feeding a growing population is a problem that will need to be met within the next 50 years. Our solution to these problems is an attachment that will produce biochar at a continuous rate when retrofitted on existing boilers. Biochar is rich in fixed carbon and has porous properties that easily absorb and maintain moisture and nutrients in soil. A very powerful soil enhancer, our biochar makes soil more fertile, boosts food yields, and reduces the need for fertilizers. This is an emerging market that has untapped potential and will push lumber mills towards a zero-waste operation while also aiding farmers in trying to feed a growing population. It's very simple. We just have a heat source and some, um, some blowers to basically move that heat source so that we can get it up into what will be our uh, pyrolysis chamber up above the boiler. We have a couple probes and viewing ports and things like that on the boiler just so we can use it you know, for uh, experimentation and actual documentation of the process, but it's really just a basic system. We have an electronic ignition system. Um, built into the control system, which is kind of my baby, uh, since I'm the electrical engineer on the project. Um, but the control system has a built-in startup sequence, um, and it will at one point, at some point, have um, emergency shutoff uh, systems, so it will be monitoring the boiler's condition, monitoring things like the boiler temperature uh, and boiler fire condition. Um, so if, for whatever reason, the, the fire or the pilot light goes out, um, the control system will detect that, shut down, and prevent um, what could be a dangerous condition. Eventually the pyrolysis chamber will kind of arch up from here. Um, it'll have an auger inside of it, um, to, and it's sort of like an Archimedes screw, to uh, convey the material, the biomass, from one end of the cart to the other. Um, and during that process it will be going through um, what's known as pyrolysis. Um, basically, we'll be cooking the biomass in a zero or low oxygen environment. Um, so that will remove the, um, the volatile gases from the biochar, which is the fibrous material left from the biomass. 